Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Todd from NC Fit Club, and I'm doing another video about Zigs just because it's my shoe of choice. I know there's people out there that love Nikes and New Balance and Brook and all that stuff. So if you're one of those people, great. This is not a you know com combat video against any other type of shoe. This is not saying that this is better than what you wear. But a lot of people that follow me dig the Zigs and like them and hear me talk about them. So I thought I'd do an updated video because they've changed since the last video that we did. A lot of people ask me about this cross trainer that I wear. I've got this one and a gray one. So you've probably seen me wear a solid gray. And a lot of people keep asking me, where do you, where do you, where can I get them, blah, blah, blah. This is the old cross trainer. I like it. I wish they still made it, but they've changed it. This cross trainer that I love has the same sole as the basketball zig shoe. And I just like the way they look. And I love those solid gray ones that you've seen me wear. This is the exact same shoe. This is the new Zig Cross Trainer. Uh, I've only worn it once and this is the first Zig I've ever bought that hurt my feet and, and feel like it needs to be broken in. For some reason I wore this at our, one of our Fit Club workouts and my feet were about to die and that's never happened to me. They completely changed the sole of the shoe. Um, it's more of a flat kind of a bottom. It's, it's wider based. It's a little bit heavier and bulkier for lateral jumps and lateral movements which was always the pro for the cross trainer because when you went lateral your foot didn't roll but the only zig part of the sole is really right here so I'm not the front of it is pretty much like a solid base sole and I gotta be honest with you I'm not crazy about the way they look compared to this one this one looks more like a regular zig whereas this one is just kinda I don't know I, I'm not sold on this one yet I, I wish they still made the old cross trainers and last but not least, the new Zig Shark. This one I'm crazy about. I love this. Number one, I like the fact that it's kind of cool. They got the shark teeth thing going on the bottom. The difference between this and the regular Zigs, the regular running Zigs, is that they've got square, on the bottom of the soles, they've got these square grooves. Okay. What I've noticed is I wore this on one foot and a regular Zig tennis shoe on the other. And this one has a lot more cushion and it feels like it's got more bounce or spring to it. I'm getting ready to do a cardio workout vertical plyo from Asylum, so I'll let you know exactly how well this did and what I thought of it, because so far I've just done, haven't done any serious heavy cardio in it, so I'll let you know for sure. But this one's very much, uh, I like the colors in them, it's very lightweight, it's more slim, it's not as big and bulky as even just the regular Zigs, definitely a lot smaller and lighter than the cross trainer. So I will say that Sean T from Asylum and Insanity is sporting Zigs in the new round of Asylum that's coming out and he's kind of gotten on board with the Zigs which I was glad to see. I'm digging this shoe. If it lives up to what I think it's going to do and I'll come back and post at the end of this video then I think I may have found my new favorite shoe. So that's it. That's the latest on the Zigs. A lot of people keep asking me where do I get them? Where's this cross trainers? That's the deal on the cross trainers. Here's the deal on the Zigs. I'm going to go work out. I'll come back and I'll tell you what I thought of these. Alright guys, so I just finished vertical plyo from Asylum and I was wearing the shark zig <laughs> too tired to hold it and thumbs up I uh, definitely liked it um, it I, it's hard to describe but this is it, it really is on top of you know on top of having the zig going for you as far as the shock the shock movement through the shoe these little squares are pretty cool I mean you definitely you definitely it, it I don't know how but it just it adds, and it might be the, that in conjunction with the, the redesign of the actual shark tooth zig pattern, but it really had, it really does add the cushion. You feel it when you're walking, you feel it when you're running. The side to side stuff was fine. I had no problems doing my lateral jumps, and uh, really liked it. I, I will tell you this, and I do this with all my shoes. Inserts, I think, make and break a shoe, no matter what kind of shoe you get. I get these soft sole air inserts. You can get them at Sports Authority. You can get them just about anywhere. You can get, I think you can get them at Finish Line where, where I get my Zigs. But uh, this, the, that really helps no matter what. I've got them in all my Zigs. So, you know, it's a pretty fair comparison because I don't wear anything without those inserts in them because the inserts that come in all the shoes are just so crap. So I uh, get the inserts for them no matter what you wear. All right, so that's it. Reach out to me if you got any more questions. Peace out.